Hi, this is Cynthia Paloma, and I want to talk to you about your Week 1 assignment. So go to under Lesson for Week 1. At the start here, read the instructions, and as you scroll down there will be an example, an image showing what your code is going to approximately look like. So I'm going to come over here, and I've already done the work. I saved my tutorial. I made a copy of it and the copy I renamed to my last name, the uh, unit number, and tutorial. So this is where my work is. And so I did create the jprop.htm. Make sure you call the files in this for assignments in this book that you have the correct file suffix name. So they should end htm and not html. Uh, because the as you go later in the, the uh, book, they're going to be, each file is going to be part of a larger website and links will break if they do not have the correct name or if you have uh, like uppercase letters so make sure that it's exactly the same as what the book says. So I'm going to look at the code and I'm going to open it with Notepad++ and here you see it, it looks pretty much like uh, this other code here, the example, except that I have my name as the author and the current date for under the date field. Alright, so it all looks good. Make sure you use a text editor, that a plain text editor, and not something like Word, because Word will add extra codes that you cannot see. You think you're typing the right thing, but there's other stuff in there. So uh, now let's test it. I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to use the default uh, Internet Explorer. I also have Chrome and, uh, and Firefox, but I'm just going to open it here. And you can see it looks pretty blank. Nothing's showing up. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look at View Source. And if you if I do that, I can see I can see the codes here. Now, if you're if anything else shows up, then you've done something you've done something wrong. Okay, so so it should be a blank page. Have the the title be JProp Shop, and I will look at the codes to make sure that you have your name and the current date on there. Okay, so now that you've done it, you need to turn it in. So I don't want, you'll notice in the folder, the tutorial folder, you created this HTM file, but there's three other files. You want to keep that structure. Uh, so you'll have to zip up all the files in the folder. So I'm going to go up a level and this is what I'm going to save. I don't want all of tutorial 01 because that'll get the case studies and the review. I'm only interested in the tutorial that you worked on. So right click and this is under Windows send to compressed zip file. Click on that and there you go. You've got a zipped file and that has, if that maintains the entire structure of that folder and that's what you will turn in. So you go back to the top, you go to week 1 assignment tutorial 1 okay uh, and then the instructions are here again repeated for you you're going to attach the file the zip file so you browse you click on that zip file make sure you have the correct one and then just hit enter and it should add it on there and then you would just submit so the important takeaways are check always always check in the browser and always zip zip the entire folder up and that zip file is what you're going to turn in. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing your very first assignment and catch you later.